Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the world of software defined radio with a focus on Dragon OS, a custom Linux distribution built specifically for SDR enthusiasts and professionals. Whether you are a hobbyist looking to explore the airwaves or a seasoned radio developer, Dragon OS promises to streamline your SDR experience by delivering a comprehensive ready to use toolkit right out of the box. What is Dragon OS? Dragon OS is a specialized Linux operating system designed for SDR. At its core, it's built upon Lubuntu, a lightweight and secure Ubuntu based distribution, making it accessible for users who want the reliable of a proven Linux platform along with the versatility required for advanced radio experiments. The philosophy behind Dragon OS is simple. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. In other words, it aims to be the most direct path to getting your SDR tools up and running without the hassle of lengthy installations and dependence conflicts. Let's talk about the key features and benefits. One of the major advantages of Dragon OS is that it comes preloaded with a wide array of open source SDR applications and utilities. Here are some of the standout features. Comprehensive toolset. Dragon OS includes powerful applications like New Radio, GQRX, Kubrick SDR, and many others. This tool allows you to capture, analyze, and even manipulate radio signals across different frequencies. Hardware compatibility. The operating system is verified to support a range of SDR hardware. Whether you are using an RTL SDR dongle, HackRF1, Lime SDR, or Blade RF, Dragon OS has you covered. Ease of use. For those who have struggled with the complexities of setting up an SDR environment, Dragon OS removes the guesswork with most dependencies and libraries pre-installed. You can focus on your experiments rather than system configuration. Now, flexibility. Whether you are installing it on a dedicated PC, an old laptop, a Raspberry Pi, or running in a virtual machine, Dragon OS offers the portability you need. This makes it ideal for both lab environments and on-the-go projects. Now, cost efficiency. By utilizing a live image or dual boot configuration, you can convert existing hardware into a dedicated SDR platform, saving you from the expensive of purchasing a new specialized system. Now let's talk about the installation and setup. Getting started with the Dragon OS is straightforward. First, download the ISO. Dragon OS is available on SourceForge. You can choose between versions tailored for different hardware platforms. Dragon OS Focal for x86-64 systems and Dragon OS Pi 64 for Raspberry Pi devices. Installation options You have the flexibility to run Dragon OS Live, install it on your existing hardware or even set it up in a virtual machine using platforms like VirtualBox or VMware. The process is designed to be as seamless as possible ensuring that even users new to Linux can get up and running without extensive troubleshooting. Now let's talk about the pre-configured environment. Once installed, you will find that all the necessary SDR applications are organized and accessible. Tools are available both through graphical menu systems and from the command line. Typically located in the folon slash user folon slash src directory. This dual accessibility means that whether you prefer a GUI or a terminal based workflow, Dragon OS accommodates your style. Now let's talk about the real world applications and use cases. Dragon OS is more than just a collection of software. It's a platform that empowers you to experiment and innovate with radio signals. Some practical use cases include radio signal analysis. Use applications like GQRX and New Radio to capture and analyze broadcast signals, whether you're tracking weather data or monitoring communication channels. 
Digital Decoding With built-in tools for decoding ACARS, VDL2 and other digital transmission formats, DragonOS is a valuable asset for those interested in aviation communication, satellite telemetry or even emergency services radio. Now let's talk about the wireless hacking and research. For cyber security professionals and radio hackers, Dragon OS provides an out-of-the-box environment for exploring wireless protocols. The platform's extensive software suite lets you experiment with everything from Bluetooth to cellular signals. Now let's talk about the educational purpose. If you are an educator or a student in the fields of telecommunications and digital signal processing, DragonOS serves as a hands-on lab where you can learn about STR without the steep learning curve often associated with manual installations. Now let's talk about the community and future developments. DragonOS is backed by a vibrant community of developers, radio enthusiasts and open source advocates. Its development team led by contributors like CMAX Scooter continues to refine and update the distribution ensuring that it remains compatible with the latest SDR hardware and software innovations. User feedback on forums and platforms like Reddit highlights both its strengths and areas for improvement. Fostering an environment whether the project evolves with the need of its community. Now finally, the conclusion and also the final thoughts. In summary, DragonOS stands out as an excellent solution for anyone serious about diving into the world of software-defined radio. It combines the stability of a Linux-based system with a pre-configured suite of tools that would otherwise take countless hours of setup. Whether you are experimenting with the radio frequencies for fun or developing cutting-edge communication solutions, DragonOS offers a streamlined, cost-effective and versatile platform to help you achieve your goals. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe and leave your comments below with your thoughts on Dragon OS or any questions you might have. Stay tuned for more in-depth reviews and tutorials on SDR technology. Happy hacking. Peace out.